We're just having breakfast. These amazing sandwiches in this place right next to our place. So our place is there. In this building. And this is the place where we have having sandwiches. It's called Orchard Grocer. They're amazing. We're having also coffee. And we're heading to Brooklyn today. We're gonna check out Brooklyn Bridge. And later on, we might go to Top of the Rock to check out the views of New York. We are walking towards Brooklyn Bridge. It's actually right here. We're already here. We are lucky because our apartment is like 20 minutes walk from here. So that's good. to share some deep thoughts with you by the way I still feel like an idiot talking to the camera in front of people I think I will never stop feeling like an idiot but that's okay we'll push through I was mentioning before that I'm going through some personal stuff for the past three months and then I'm struggling so I'm dealing with a breakup and it's been very tough it's been really hard three months for me and the reason why I'm sharing this with you is because I know it will resonate with many of you, it might help you, might inspire you and because I know that people who shared the same experiences with me helped me and uh, yeah it's been very hard and I think the most difficult part was actually dealing with my own mind, dealing with myself, overcoming all the overthinking and all the negative thoughts and I'm still dealing with it, I'm not over it. And what I really hate about it is that I stopped doing everything I love. I stopped doing yoga, I stopped doing videos, I stopped meditating. I was meditating like 200 days in a row. And I, my mindset was really strong. So I'm really trying slowly to come up from this hole I was digging myself. And yeah, I just want to tell you if you are struggling, if you are going through a heartbreak or any difficult situation in life, just bear in mind that it's normal. and. This is what life is about, it's about overcoming obstacles. And just remember, life is not only rainbows and unicorns. We all have to realize that having issues like this, it's normal. And it's normal, it's painful. And we cannot avoid the pain, we just need to go through pain, which I'm doing. So yeah, I hope this helps you, inspires you, and I wish you luck to overcome your problems as well. Just be strong and try to focus on yourself. I know it's very hard, I know how hard it is. Give some love to yourself, to people around you who love you. And, and yeah, I think this is end of my deep talk. So let's go to Brooklyn. We just entered hardcore Instagram zone, look at this. We are back in Manhattan. Honestly, we didn't spend much time in Brooklyn because the area we wanted to go to was too far and it's already 3 p.m. and we still want to go to Top of the Rock for sunset. So we are back, we're gonna eat now and, and then we go. I got really burnt as you can see. And my neck is even worse. That's my style, I always get burnt. We were having a short break at home and now we're eating. We're waiting till the sun calms down and then we go to the top of the rock. Okay, a little update. This was a fail. We are not going to top of the rock right now because the closest entry time available was at 9 p.m. That's way too late because we wanted to see sunset. So we're going to 9-11 Memorial instead and we will go to Top of the Rock possibly tomorrow. It should rain but we will see, maybe next day after.
and that's it for today it got really cold to be heading home and tomorrow should rain all day so let's see what we're gonna do and we got two more friends joining us they're coming from Slovakia because they're coming for the wedding as well so I'll see you tomorrow so we just got some groceries and we're about to cook vegan breakfast We are done with the breakfast. It was really good. The vegan sausage, incredible, Beyond Meat sausage. If you never tried, I recommend. Also, if you never tried Beyond Meat burger, it's really good. So we kind of knew it's gonna be good. Then we tried the vegan eggs. I didn't really like it. And vegan bacon, that was very interesting. It was kind of heavy breakfast for me because I'm not used to it. I usually have just some uh, fruit juices or fruit or oats. But it's nice from time to time to have breakfast like this. Right now, it's uh, almost raining. It should rain all day today, so we are going to buy the same shoes I bought for my brother, because I hope, because he liked them, and I want him to have them as well, because they're very comfortable and very cheap, $20. And then, I don't like to talk about things that I'm buying, a show of things that I'm buying. I'm, I'm not really into that, but I'm gonna buy also one vegan shoes, which I'm very excited about. I was trying to search for vegan shoes all around the world and it's kind of difficult to find them. Yeah, there is construction going on in this building. So I'm gonna buy vegan shoes, I'm gonna show you later when I have them. It's like fake leather kind of vegan shoes because I want to have one pair of shoes which will be for like autumn, spring, winter, rainy weather because I don't have anything like that. I'm pretty excited about it because they are made from sustainable material they are made in sustainable factory and there is no like slavery or or animal cruelty involved which is very important and i don't want to give you like the whole speech about this um, i think there should be awareness among people what they are buying and i don't want to preach because i still wear clothes that are not made out of sustainable materials or by brands that are sustainable but i'm slowly switching and trying to buy more and more sustainable things and I think that's where the world should head anyway, and it hopefully will, so let's change the world together, right? It all starts from the individual, I always say. So let me change the world by this small thing today. Maybe I'm gonna inspire some of you, and you might also reach for sustainable and vegan things. And yeah, that's, that's all I wanted to say. Let's do some shopping. And we are back. I got these shoes. The brand is called Ahimsa. That means avoiding violence towards anything living. So that means animals as well. And this amazing shop, it's called Moo Shoes. And the whole store is basically full of vegan shoes, vegan products like bags, belts, anything. Also, it's raining outside, so we're chilling at home a little bit. We might go outside to shoot some videos or photos in the rain and later on two more friends are coming from Slovakia they're joining us and we're gonna spend the last two days in New York together and then we're all heading to Washington DC and we're going to Virginia for my best friend's wedding Wait, say hi. waiting for our favorite sandwich and today I'm actually going for a yoga class which I didn't really think I will go because I didn't even bring yoga mat or any yoga clothes with me but I had one guy he's a photographer texting me and he would like to take some photos of me so I'm going there it's gonna be an inversion class with lots of arm balances and it should be challenging so let's see how I will do because I feel kind of sick for the past two days I woke up with sore throat I have full nose I wish me luck. All 
right, I'm here with Monty. Hey, hi. And we just took some photos in this beautiful location. It's Domino Park. So where is it, this one? Domino Park, it's at, on the, in Williamsburg, Brooklyn. Yeah. Yeah, and Monty is a photographer, professional photographer. He's taking lots of photos on, of famous people, right, on Instagram. Yeah, famous, famous yogis, <laughs> yeah, including just like me. <laughs> and yeah, we just did a yoga class with uh, uh, Jared McCann yeah, yeah. at Lighthouse Yoga School. So if you are in Brooklyn, head to the studio Lighthouse. Lighthouse Yoga, Lighthouse yoga School. Yeah, and check it out. It's, it's pretty cool. I'm gonna show you some photos when Monty edits them. And yeah, I'm heading home now, meeting my, my brother. Tonight. So thank you, Monty. Oh, <laughs> my pleasure.